Welcome to personalizing and customizing a Google form based on answers. First, log in to Google at my.ysd.net. Once you are logged in, click on the Apps Launcher. There are two ways you can get to Google Forms. One way is going through Google Drive, and the other is going straight to the Forms app. If you use the Forms app, you will see that you have a variety of templates to choose from that are already customized. They're all very beautiful. However, if you want a blank document, click on Drive, click on New, and of course down to Google Forms. Once in, you will notice it opens up a blank document for you and it chooses a color for you. You can change the color and the theme later. For this document, we will name it Dinner Time, and I'm going to ask the question, what would you like for dinner? Notice the different types of answer choices that you have. The short answer and paragraph are great, but they shouldn't be used for the based on answer customization. Instead, choose a multiple choice, checkbox, or drop down menu. So I'm going to choose a multiple choice and I'm going to give my boys the choice between hamburgers and pizza. Then I'm going to click on the ellipsis here to the side and I am going to go to section based on answer. You'll notice that you have a little menu. Down at the bottom is an equal sign. This equal sign will add a new section. So if I click on the equal sign, now I have a section two. I can name it if I wish, but I'm not going to. I'm going to click on the plus sign to add a new question. And my question is going to be, where do you want to go get your hamburger? Five Guys, Wendy's, or Homemade? And I'm going to add another section. What do you want on your pizza? Pepperoni, sausage, extra cheese. And I'm going to make these required questions. And I'm going to go back up to my first two choices of hamburger and pizza, and I need to guide their answers to the appropriate section. So I click on the section to the side, and you'll notice that section three, I remember, is my pizza, and section two was for my hamburger. So I make sure that I choose the right section to where what their answer is going to take them to. Section three, pizza. Section two, hamburger. All right. Now I can actually add sections for their other answer choices. I can make this as long as I want, but I'm only asking for one question. So now I'm gonna have them submit the form. And I'm gonna have each one of the answers here go to the submit form, because if it goes to the next section, it's not going to work properly. So I'm still gonna have to add that component in there. So now I'll submit form they're all going to submit the form. But what is the form going to say when they submit it? I can change that by clicking on the gear wheel. Here in the gear wheel, this is like some of your settings. And you'll notice here it says, you know, your, your answer has been submitted. Well, I want it to say, hey, thanks for letting me know what you like for dinner tonight. Type that in. And up towards the top, you'll see that it says for all is let ISD, but I want it for anyone. Maybe they're not an YISD member. And I click save. There, now my questions are ready. I want to preview this, so I click on the I. And that's going to allow me to preview this as anyone who is going to submit the form. All right, dinner time. Hamburger or pizza, I choose hamburger. I like my five guys, so I'm going to choose five guys. Next, and I can either go back if I misspoke or I can submit the form. And when I submit the form, look what it says here. Thank you very much for letting me know what you like for dinner. I can now go back into the form and edit it some more. So that's what I'm going to do. Click back on the tab and here back in the edit version. And you'll notice I had a response, and I can actually look through here and, and look at the response. You notice there's only one, so it's going to give it to me in a graph form. But if I want it as a spreadsheet, I can click right up here and, and click out and make it into a spreadsheet. I can also turn the form on or off. 
And if I click on the little ellipsis, it's going to give me some other choices where I can download it as a CSV. Or if I made a mistake, I can actually erase or delete the responses, which I'm going to do. So I don't want my response on there. All right. It looks like everything is just about ready, but maybe, just maybe, I might want to make a couple of changes. Okay. In order to make those couple of changes, I'm going to click on the palette, which is going to allow me to change the color. Because maybe I don't want it to be purple. So I click on the palette. When I click on that palette, it's going to give me a variety of colors to choose from. Or if I want to choose one of the themes that they have, I can choose the, the picture at the bottom and look at all the themes that Google has. And I'm going to choose one that has to do with food. So I'm going to choose this pizza one right here. And notice when it puts the theme in, it also changes the color of your form. It's going to do that automatically. You have no control over what that background color looks like. Okay. Now, if I'm ready to send this form out, I click the Send button, and I can send it as an email, just straight out to people through the email system. Or I can choose Link, and that link sometimes is long. So if I choose Shorten Link, then I can copy that little bit of link and put it in an email or put it on a website if I like to. Or I can actually embed this form into a website. Click the embed and then I copy that HTML code and then I paste that into an HTML editor. Click save. That's it. That's how to customize your forms. Thank you so much for watching today.